Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of the State of Decay 2 coverage series. I'm your host, Arky, and today we'll be discussing... Okay, I tried to go as fast as I could. I wanted to see how fast we could get through the intro. Uh, let's re-roll that. Hello there, and welcome to another episode of the State of Decay 2 coverage series. I'm your host, Arky. So as many long-time fans of the franchise know, State of Decay is known for its awesome starter characters. So as it has turned into tradition, we are going to take a look at the State of Decay 2 starter characters and look at their backstories and traits. Also discuss how this system will work. Alright, so to begin, as we covered almost one year ago, we learned that the game will begin around a military refugee camp. And from the character selection screen, we can confirm this by reading the duo's character bios. Before we look at these, let me add that the intro to Stave Decay 2 is actually very surprising and innovative. Adding the choice to choose between these narrative-based character matchups is really cool. Each character duo has some sort of relation to each other, which on one hand makes the selection of your starter character more personal, but also adds a level of replayability to the starting act of State of Decay 2. And with that, let's take a look at the first character duo. So these two characters' names are Greg and Michael, and their tagline is Old Buddies. The description for these characters are pretty interesting, so let's take a look. You have been bailing your oldest friend out of trouble since middle school, and even though you're reasonably certain he did not cause the apocalypse, he hasn't exactly been helpful since it started. Luckily, an army refugee camp up ahead offers the promise of safety and a hot meal. The clock is ticking for your old pal to mess it up. So this is a very interesting dynamic, and I think a lot of people might go with these two, just to get a buddy dynamic within their starting hours. One thing that worries me about these two are the chances of your buddy maybe doing things that could lead to the community's downfall. But if we do take a look at their stats, they seem like a pretty well-off duo, with Michael being a bit more efficient in his abilities of wit, with more rounded out shooting and fighting stats. So so these two could be a good choice as starters. Let's move on to our next duo. So these characters' names are Gloria and Lily. Alright, and these two are a couple, and boy, it's refreshing to see Undead Labs take this approach to character story and really sticking true to reality. And this is a duo choice many female gamers can and will relate to, so that is a nice narrative if I do say so myself. So let's get into this duo's rocky background by looking at their bio. You and your girlfriend have dated and split up at least 10 times over the years, but no matter how bad the breakup, you always managed to rekindle the spark. Things were going really well until the zombies took over. As you approach an army refugee camp in search of food, you are back together, at least until the first argument. So what I really like is the length Undead Labs is going to to tell a believable and interesting story using the relationships between these different duos. And I really like the fact that even within the struggle of day-to-day -day life within the apocalypse, these characters still hold personal issues, and that will add to the overall experience tremendously. Let's take a look at the next duo. Alright, so these two's names are Hobson and Sean. So these two's tagline is Shirley Siblings, and their bio goes as, Months after the apocalypse, you reunited with your estranged brother since then, the two of you have strayed one step ahead of the zombies and starvation. But now, supplies are running low. But luckily, your brother learned of an army-run refugee camp where you hope to find food and shelter. As long as you remember to share like mama taught you. I really like the idea of a brother and sister duo, being that sibling banter can always add a bright twist to such a dark and gloomy scenario. So I really like these two, especially Hobson, being that her cardio is up there with the best of them, and that will come in handy on some of your first outings for supplies, because you may have to do a bit of dodging and running to stay alive. Sean doesn't seem like a very useful character at first, but he seems like a good character 
harder to grow attached to by enhancing his skills and seeing him become a mainstay within the community. His mechanic ability will also come in handy quite a bit when looking at your base facility needs. So I would say that these two are a safe bet, so they're well worth looking into possibly using as your starter characters. Okay, so now for our last starter duo. Their names are Brandon and Rose. Their tagline is Odd Couple, and their bio goes, If not for zombies, you would have never found love. The two of you met in the woods, survivors from different worlds, with no homes to go back to. Though your roads might never have crossed, you are now inseparable. As you approach an army refugee camp, you hope the same apocalypse that brought you together doesn't tear you apart. So these two met after the apocalypse, which will be really cool to see how their relationship dynamic works. They're probably super close because the apocalypse brought them even closer together. I'd say this duo is more bland than the rest, and their stats also seem to not have really much redeemable qualities outside of Rose's gardening abilities. I'd also say starting with these two may be the most difficult out of the bunch, but I guess we'll have to see. Alright, so as you may have noticed, each group group will follow the same story beat, having the military base be the section that will allow the tutorial to play out. One cool thing to mention is once you complete the tutorial one time, you can choose to skip this section in future playthroughs, and by choosing so, you will start the game with three random characters, and you will be able to re-roll these characters until you find three characters with stats that will complement your new playthrough. And with all that, which of these duos are you most likely to choose? Please let me know in the comments. Also, explain why you want to choose said duo. For me personally, I think I may go with the Shirley siblings, as I like the narrative, but hey, that's just me. What do you think? Also, if you like today's video, leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We also have our Project DK, which is a community-driven effort to create the ultimate Stay of Decay 2 survival guide. You can join us on Project DK's Xbox Club or on the Gamescast Live Discord. Links to those will be in the description. But with all that said, as always, I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Here we go now. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. Open, open. Stay. Up.